welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we are doing a what's in my trash for this month. Here it is. Ah! <laughs> so much garbage. Some of it's recyclable, thank goodness. And we finally have recycling back in St. John's. So I can finally get things put away. It looks like a lot, but it's actually not that bad. It's mostly like bulk product. So without further ado, let's jump into this. This is probably going to be pretty quick. I'm going to try to sort it into trash versus um, recycling as well as I go. So first up is the larger box of the Always Infinity Flex Foam Pads. I got these on Amazon at the beginning of quarantine. Um, I do wear pads when I'm on my period and I also use tampons. It really depends on what I'm feeling. These ones are the Tampax Pearl Actives. These are the light absorbency. I really like these. These are, these are great for the lighter days and they do really work when you're working out or doing a hike or whatever. Like I don't really have any leakage. Up next, this thing has seen better days. This is the 500 ml bottle of a shower gel from Lush. This is the Yog Nog scent. This was a holiday limited edition scent. It was the gold one. It had um, a creamy caramel scent in it. It was delicious. I think there was clove and something else here as well. It does say, it's good to know that maple syrup water helps winter skin hold on to moisture. Every Canadian everywhere <laughs> totally knows that as a fact. Sticking with some Lush products, I used a bath bomb. This was the green Christmas Yule one. It was like a, a mint green and it had a whole bunch of dust on the inside and it also had a little pink topper. I'll try to look up what it was called, but I don't remember. This stuff, oh, I'm so sad this is gone, but I can't justify spending more money on it. This is the Briogeo Farewell Frizz uh, Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. This stuff is like almost $30 a bottle and you only get five fluid ounces and I loved it, but I got it with gift cards so I can't justify paying for it again, but I did really like it, but I'm sad it's gone. It's one of those like mixed emotion products because it does work well. Something else I've been using so much. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Weightless Clear Sunscreen SPF 30 with 12 hour um, moisturization properties in it turn into a lobster when I am outside like it is sad even after I apply sunscreen but this stuff really helps I really like it I like that it's a spray nozzle I live by myself so like I can't spray my back with sunscreen or anything like or I can't like put cream on it so like the spray nozzle really helps and it's I'm able to get as much sunscreen on as possible I also like how convenient it is with the spray top so I can just reapply quickly even if I'm out also, I really like the Copper Tone Clearly Sheer SPF 50. Use this on my face all the time. It sits well under makeup. This one, I never got to finish it. We don't get enough summer to go through a whole bottle. So this one did expire, so I never got it finished. But it was really good before it expired. I do like how it sat on my skin, so that has to be thrown out. And then this sunscreen, this was something else I picked up. I got this at Sobeys. This is a kid's sunscreen, just the compliments SPF, SPF 50, I think. Yeah, SPF 50, but it's for kids. Um, and it doesn't expire until 2021, but every time I wore this, I burned like really, really bad. So the Hawaiian Tropic is the way to go. I also have one from Walmart, the Equate brand, the sports one with the SPF 60. That works very well. I've been putting that on my face right now too. Up next is a heat protectant. This is the Tresemme Thermal Creation Heat Protectant Flat Iron Spray. I have used this forever. I'm not a big fan of expensive heat protectants. That's like $4.94, $4.97, whatever it is at Walmart, and it works great. Just a toothbrush, popped it back in packaging so it didn't get messy. This is a sample of the First Aid Beauty uh, oil-free mattifying gel. I really liked this. Again, not something that was like super worth spending a fortune on a full size, but it was a great little sample just to play with. Also used up a bottle of the Head & Shoulders Smooth & Silky 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner. I like 2-in-1s to have in my gym bag. So, since I'm not back at the gym, I haven't been buying two-in-one, but I do like them for the gym. So, I will repurchase when I decide to go back to the gym. Right now, gyms are opening in Newfoundland in a couple of weeks, but I have frozen my membership until the fall because I want to see if and when the second wave is going to hit Newfoundland and if 
the protocols at the gym are actually worth keeping my membership for. So we're gonna we're figuring figuring that one out as I go. So we're just playing that by ear. Another thing I used up um, is the Partridge Berry Bath Soak. I have been doing a lot of hiking and I get like two baths out of this and it's they're just really good for my mu muscles. Um, that bath soak is by Indigenous Skincare and it's just so rejuvenating to sit in a tub with some bath salts, a bath bomb, some bath oil and just kind of have a spa night and relax my overworked muscles. Uh, this is the I Love Vanilla Milk um, Body Wash. I got this in a winter PR kit from Farley Co. Beauty. I actually just got their summer one and they have the same same scent in a body spray, so that's exciting. And then I also have another one of those from I Love in English Rose. That was a really nice scent as well. Again, they came like in these perfectly small bottles like for the gym, so grateful for that. Got some drunk elephant samples in here. This is the uh, Virgin Maracuja Luxury Face Oil. It's just a bougie product. I like it. I want to try some more drunk elephant stuff, but I'm afraid I'm going to get addicted. This one is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This I want a full size of, but I can't justify the price. I'm like, how? Why? Why is it so expensive? It works. It makes my fin skin feel really, really good, but like, the price it gets me sometimes I wonder if you're just paying for packaging is that it oh no and finally I have a very dirty knockoff beauty blender by L'Oreal um, this is the L'Oreal Pro one it came with one of the foundations I got like a combo pack or something when I bought it uh, the infallible pro foundation or something the only thing I don't like about dupes for beauty blenders is they do fall apart like they get can you see that they get little holes and dings in them, whereas with beauty blenders, I find if you take care of them and clean them, like, and I treat the dupes of the beauty blenders the same as I would the beauty blender, and I clean it regularly, and I take care of it, and I store it in a nice container, and they still end up getting holy in comparison to the beauty blenders. My beauty blenders never fall apart. They just get so gross, they need to be thrown out after a certain amount of months. So. That's it for my beauty empties. Uh, let me know what's in your trash. I'm curious to hear. Leave me a comment down below or if you do videos, please tell me so I can come check out your channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on my vlog channel so you can see what I've been getting up to in quarantine. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys super, super soon. I love you guys. Bye!